Hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dolings video. I was being called to... I, I was being called to, uh... Basically, I, I... Oh my god. Can I speak English yet? Can I please speak English? Okay, so I was being called about a... Pers oh, shit. Uh, I was being called about a thing. A thing? What the hell? That doesn't tell. It. Oh my god. Um, hold on a second. Uh, why can I not say it? What's wrong? Why can't I speak? What happened to me? Did something happen to my brain? I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. Okay. I was being called by my insurance to say that they approved my, uh, random test. And I'm just like, okay, thank you. Except, do I trust them? No, I don't! My insurance, my healthcare insurance cannot be trusted. <laughs> And you may be like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, um... Because I'm disabled, I can also be on my mom's insurance. I'm considered an adult dependent. And because I'm considered an adult dependent, I... I have, uh... I'm not sure if I can call this a privilege, exactly. But... I can still be covered under my mother's insurance because I'm disabled. And my mother's insurance sucks. And you may be like, but they all suck. No, 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 you don't get it. This one especially sucks. It, it, it's just one of the worst insurance companies I've ever heard of. And I know, I know that all insurance companies suck, but seriously. This one sucks more than I could ever explain in English. Yeah, that's how badly the insurance company sucks. Do you know why it sucks? Because this country's healthcare system is bullshit. <laughs> under, normal, under normal circumstances, I would not count as someone that is disabled. I shouldn't count as someone that's disabled, but I do because this country is full of shit. I don't even consider myself disabled. I just... You might be like, wait a minute. No, listen. Under the current system, I am still disabled. It's just... In a healthy society, I don't think I would count. But that's what I mean. It's like a healthy society would not classify me as disabled. But America is not a healthy society, so I am disabled. That's because of the so it's a so it's a society thing. It has nothing to do with me actually being disabled. It's just there's no middle ground as I've as I've already explained in previous videos. Um, I would like to know how to speak English, and I know that I'm still a bit too fluent for people to be like, but you do speak English. Yes, I do speak English, but I don't speak enough of the right English. And when I try to explain myself, sometimes I just fail. I don't know what happened to me, man. Some shit happened. <laughs> Some shit happened. I, I just, I can never explain anything anymore. <laughs> There's a lot going on upstairs, I swear. Though, isn't that the case with everyone? I mean, the brain does a lot of things. A lot of things that we take for granted. Like the ability to experience pleasure and enjoyment. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone is like, uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone takes things for granted, and I'm like... You're taking things for granted. Meanwhile, I can barely function. 
because I have anhedonia, which is partial, but it's still anhedonia, even if it is partial. And you know what this means? And this means a lot of shit. Like, for example, it means that I'm usually suffering. <sighs> okay, I'm not necessarily suffering in the same sense that everyone else suffers in some cases. It's just... There are things about me that are very weird because of my partial anhedonia. There are things I can and can't do. And anhedonia is actually pretty disabling in its worst state. I still make jokes about the being an Olympic sport. Yeah, imagine typing the being an Olympic sport to your brain. Because it can't enjoy shit. And now, obviously, I sound like I'm speaking utter nonsense because no one could possibly take me seriously when I type a lot of shit all the time. Yeah, I know. And that's because my antidonia is partial. Remember? Partial! That's right. My antidonia is partial enough for me to just type a lot of words. It's actually quite terrifying. Okay, now I'm wondering, dude, how are you winning this? I, I'm gonna make an assumption here. <laughs> Here's the assumption! The ultimate nightmare. <laughs> I had a nightmare once. It was terrifying. Though what was my last one? Uh... I can't remember. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. You know, I think about how I can't remember my dreams as well as I used to. But I'm like, do I really want that back? Because then I'd remember my nightmares better. And they are terrifying. Very terrifying. <laughs> the comfort of friendship is but an illusion against the reality of my hardship. Yes. The reality of my hardship is... You know... What is comfort anyway? How do you feel comfort? And how do you make friends? No, really! How do you make friends? I don't know. I forgot. That, that's what happens when you have anhedonia long enough. You just, you just forget things. <laughs> okay, what's in this deck? Besides the obvious. Okay. Hmm. I saw one person with two wise moons in their deck. I'm like, wait, you put two in there? Interesting. You know, I thought of doing that. Though it's probably not a good idea. I only have one of these. I don't even feel like I used the one correctly. Like, there's this one copy of this single card, and it's good, but I just feel like I use it poorly. So I took it out. And DD Crow, I took it out too, because same problem. Hmm. So sometimes I look at the... Dude, how did I get this? Hmm. Activate by selecting two set spell or trap cards on the field. The selected spell or trap cards cannot be activated. Huh. Interesting! I should try that. I bet my opponents would get pissed. Oh, well, go be pissed. I don't mind pissing off my opponents. Although, I don't necessarily want to hear about it. You know, most of the most of the players I play, in, I play against will never know I exist. That's why if I ever do actually blurt out anything insulting, I know they will never hear about it. Because they will never know that I exist. So they will never know that I ever insulted them. Although if they did find out, somehow, if the odds stacked up, so, in the right way, and they found out, I would apologize. But only if they weren't an ass. 
if my opponents are an ass, then I will not apologize. Um, by the way, my gems, they're, they are, uh, you may have noticed that my gems are full. And some of my gems expire before the end of January if I don't do something with these gems. I'm sure I can find something. I'm sure. Wow, that was fast, Zane. You may be like, what? Dude, I started this video dueling myself. Meanwhile, I already knew that Zex... What? Alright, my brain is still in Zexa world. Got it. At least I can go be obsessed about someone else's event. And now, does this change anything? No. It changes nothing. But in the immediate future, I would like to destroy Ray As quickly as possible, of course. Although I'm also I'm also interested in the other variants being released, so there is that. There is that. I want all of them. Yes, all of them. Now some people have watched Zexel, so they know exactly who all of them are. And to be honest, that is one of the reasons I'm confused about the dialogue in this game. I'm just like, what the hell? And because technically, technically, um, how many more Baryans had to be added to the game? Uh, a three. A three are left. Three are left. And again, if you've watched Zexel, this is obvious information. If you haven't watched Zexel, you probably already know. You've probably already heard about it. And if you know, then you probably just don't give a shit. <laughs> but, I mean, even, even with memory manipulation bullshit, I'm still confused. Because how the hell did some people remember the variants, but not everyone? Also, I'm sick of dueling you, Zane. Oh, this most of this video is just me and GX World. Which, to be honest, is... Uh, it wasn't intentional, but... There will be... The there's the last episode of Area 4 to cover. And that will neatly wrap up Area 4. And the next event is... You got rid of super polymerization. I guess he doesn't like what I said. Too bad, I will destroy you. You showed up. You showed up at level 20. I can fail anything, but there are some things that I can do. Even when I fail! Uh, so, yes. Uh, you know what? I'm actually pretty good at failing. Um, I shouldn't say that. But I mean... Am I wrong? How much I displayed that I am good at failing? I really don't think I should say things like this. It's true, but that doesn't mean I should say it. And granted, at least it's about myself. It's about me. Oh shit. Someone going to make me hangry today? Don't make me hangry, I'll be bad. I'll enter into my berserk mode, and I've got a permanent one. Well, kind of. Hmm. 
Does anyone else think it was unnecessary to turn Zane into a masochist? Although maybe that was his deck doing it. Did his deck do that? I don't know. It didn't do it when Cyrus touched it. I guess because Cyrus is sane. Granted, I'm not sure how I feel about that trash can. That trash can must not have been comfortable. You may be like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, in one scene, Cyrus hid from people by, by uh, announcing that this trash can is now his home. He lives in a trash can! Uh, no you don't. Stop. You were, so someone did you a favor by making sure you left that trash can. Meanwhile, he goes through uh, uh, he goes through the entire, he goes through all of season three. Wait a minute, wasn't there a trash can thing in season three? Hmm. Well, he lived the entire season. He just survived all of it. Meanwhile, not everyone did. I say like no one. Ca you know what? If you don't know by now, you don't give a shit. Um, let's continue. W what? No. I don't even know what I just did. Okay, it's time to finish episode 5. I never started it. Uh, three hours ago, we detected an energy burst. Someone carried out a hugely... Uh, three hours ago, we detected an energy burst. Someone carried out a highly powerful summon. Using which method? A fusion, sir. We obtained this footage from a security cam. Huh? Uh, hold on. But let me look. Do I know who that is? Uh... Hmm. I might know. That's Yuzu from the Yusho school. No, I'm pretty sure that's Elena. Selena. Here to confirm. Don't be leaving so soon. Who are you? Don't you remember? We've met before. Uh... I am Declan Akaba, Leo Akaba's son. We encountered each other in the fusion dimension. Oh. They did meet? Oh yeah, I'm starting to vaguely remember. You are the duelist that my father saw the most promise in. And then did nothing with? Oh my god, Leo Akaba, you're a failure! In every regard! I mean, sure, her worst sin is being an awful parent, but, uh... Your awful parenting... Is actually what led you to all the bullshit that happened in this series, and... That sounds awful, and like, who the hell does something that awful over something so petty? And I just like to tell you. <laughs> Trust me, there are things you don't want to know. And now you're here. Didn't my father send you as an advanced scout for the, for the impending... Didn't my father send you as an advanced scout for the impending invasion? Nobody sent me here. I go where I want, when I want. I answer to no one. And I do remember you. You appeared out of nowhere at Duel Academy and tried to help me. I won't forget that day. Because that was the day I would join my class on the front lines. But it wasn't to be. All because of your father. 
But why? You say I'm one of your best students. Doesn't that mean I'm ready to fight? And do not concern yourself with what it means. And then when will I be ready to fight? When it's time to destroy Xyz or Synchro? Will someone tell me what's going on here? Father, where am I? What's Dual Academy? Mother and I haven't heard a word from you since you left the company. Oh dear. And also an awful spouse. What I will say to you is this. You should not have come to this dimension. Okay, shithead. Now then, Selena. I do believe it's time that we return you to your quarters. It is time you leave as well. No, I want answers first. Where am I? You're in the fusion dimension. And this is my base of operations. Dual Academy. I am planning to create one supreme world. Okay, failure. One supreme world? I don't understand. The father... I've devoted my life to stopping my father's plan to invade other dimensions. You've devoted your life to that, and yet you failed to save the Xyz dimension from him. Leo Akaba may not have sent you, but if you are not my friend, you are my enemy. The professor doesn't like me disobeying his orders, so he'll send his army to take me back. That means I'm on a time limit, and I have to take down that Exesian before they catch me. Then the professor will have no choice but to acknowledge my skills. I'm told that you want to go back to the standard dimension. I'll allow it, Sora. But I want you to go find somebody. With the help of some friends. Obelisk for- Obelisk Force? Your top priority is to locate a young girl. This is the girl you must find. Yuzu? No. Her name is Selena. Selena? But she looks just like Yuzu. What gives? That's none of your concern. Bring this girl to me by whatever means necessary. That includes taking down anyone in your way. This includes taking down anyone in your way by unleashing the full power of your skills. Well, damn. Anyway, guys, that's going to try things up for this video. In the next video, I'm starting Area 5.